kind of a disc I would choose for a distance, a Blizzard Boss around 157 grams because it has a combination of speed and lift and flight characteristic that would maximize distance. Hi guys. Hey, you see? You can get it up to height real quickly because it's uh, fast and it has uh, enough carry to give you a pretty good glide and has fairly small uh, low speed over stability so it doesn't fall out of the air. Hey Avery, check this out, what I have, DD2s and P-Line. Nice, dude, those look great. I choose a Domi 1 over a flat one because Domi 1 has more lift and has less low speed over stability at the same time. Good, we're good to go. Got these Blizzard Ooh, Champion nice. Destroyers. Let's see. 57, that's what, just like my disc. Breaking world records today. The three main things you need to throw distance are altitude. You need to get the disc up to as high as you can without losing speed quickly. You need to get it oriented, nose down as much as you can for that altitude. And it has to ride the wind as efficiently as possible. Yeah, I'm excited. We are going to El Mirage, the dry lake. The legendary spot where Christian broke, or actually he made, the new distance world record of 250 meters. That's huge. It's, it's truly incredible. You know, it's a good combination of power, speed, and then technique, and uh, Christian has all those. And if you get the right conditions up here, you can get some pretty big long shots. We have a mission to reach 200 meters today, and uh, the lake bed there is about six miles long. Uh, when you go to these kind of a remote places, the weather is always a factor. We even don't know now what's waiting for us there, right? I don't know, it looks like the clouds are rolling in, got some weather rolling in, and uh, hopefully bring some wind with it. I've never been to El Mirage. It's uh, pretty cold up there now, and I think as the heat, you know, as the sun gets up, and uh, I think it'll heat up the ground, and really cause some really cool thermals too. Actually, it's a good thing we just grabbed a bunch of the new Blizzard line discs. Yeah, these Blizzard discs are pretty incredible. Uh, I was throwing them like three weeks ago in Taiwan, and these destroyers and these bosses go a long, long ways. And uh, with the good combination of lightweight and speed and the carry that these uh, discs get, I can only imagine what they do in the desert. You know? Especially the boss, when these winds, they're going a long, long ways. Welcome to nowhere. Oh yeah. Every player in the game wants to learn how to gain distance and throw further. Well, in this section of maximum distance, I'm gonna show you how to get more power and speed out of your throwing technique. Maximum distance driving and backhand driving are very similar, except for the fact you're trying to get extended reach back by turning your head, also getting a lower pullback and a higher release point when throwing max D. Now there's golf distance and maximum driving distance. Golf distance, you're trying to throw a lower line, hit a lower shot, and land in a preferred landing zone. For maximum distance, you're trying to throw as hard as possible, and accuracy is not as crucial. Now in golf distance, you're throwing a lower line of trajectory, trying to be accurate. For max distance, I'm trying to throw as high as possible, good turnover angle, and get the wind to carry the disc as far as possible. Now when you're trying to drop some bomb drives in the desert, it all comes down to the grip. I use a power grip, which is tucking four fingers on the underside of the rim, tucking the middle two, and then the front and the back are flush against the rim. Thumb on top, right where the rim meets the flay plate, good firm pressure, good firm grip. Nothing too loose where it's gonna fall out of your hand, nothing too tight where you're gonna pull and yank it. 
The grip is very, very important. That's where you have all your momentum that your body produces transferring into the disc itself. While on the golf course, I actually throwing drives, I produce a lot of calluses and blisters on my pointer finger. Throwing maximum distance, I actually get a good tear point on my middle finger. That's why I use super glue for the most part. And you're getting so much momentum, so much tear into the hit point, into the release, that you're getting so much power transferring off these front two fingers. So really concentrate on the grip and be throwing bombs in the desert. And now for the arm swing, throwing maximum distance drives. The stronger the wind, the higher the release. It's all about putting your body in position depending on the strength and direction of the wind. Typically it's a lower reach back and a higher release trying to get maximum acceleration, maximum torque as you turn, twist, and throw. Now in order to get maximum distance, I use a 360 turnaround throwing technique for distance contests. The advantages of that, you get a maximum reach back, accelerated pull through, and a violent shift of weight from back to the front. And since it's not about accuracy when throwing max distance drives, I concentrate on rotational speed, arm extension, and arm swing velocity. While spinning, you need to feel your body in space, and proper body alignment will ensure correct release point. And now for the run-up of the 360 turnaround. I use proper alignment, one linear motion forward. I'm going to take small timing steps to build my rhythm. But all you need is a minimum of four steps for max distance turnarounds. First two steps, driving momentum forward. The third step, you hop on your left foot and spin, rotate, hop 180. As you're trying to rotate your lower body, twisting your hips and driving your legs forward. Your last and final step, plant foot, as you're driving all your momentum forward, accelerating through, and putting everything and all the momentum into the disc itself. It's important to keep your body disconnected, using your lower body to go first, and then your upper body coming around, kind of on a corking or on coiling, driving your body's momentum forward until the release of the disc. And now let's bring it all together, the run up and the arm swing. You're trying to generate incredible power with your legs as you're driving forward, producing torque through the rotation of the pivot foot. Turning into the power position, twisting the hips, and driving the momentum forward. You want to keep your arm and the disc close to your body for angular momentum to increase spin velocity. You're using the twist in your body and the rotational forces for your arm swing to create a slingshot effect. Max extension, extreme acceleration, through to the hip point, and release. And now for some pro tips for throwing maximum distance drives. Use controlled aggression while remaining smooth and fluid throughout the throw, concentrating on speed and rhythm. Don't try to kill it. 80 or 90% with proper technique will get some big drives down the desert. Next for the discs. Typically, the faster the disc spins, the further it'll fly. So concentrate on the hit point and the release. And when it comes to wind, the wind is your friend. You're looking for a cross tailwind over your left shoulder and kicking the disc up on an Anheuser. Really getting the bottom of the disc exposed to the wind and letting it carry down the field. Three key points to maximum distance. Learn to use the wind. Proper disalignment depending on the speed of the wind. Wind over the left shoulder for right hand and backhand. Disc selection. Models with great ratio of speed and glide. Lighter weights to increase carry in the wind. Acceleration and power. Concentrating on quick transfer of body weight to produce power. And quick acceleration arm speed to ensure maximum distance. Now the wind's picking up. Now let's crush some drives and see so you can break the 200 meter mark. ideal right now. Woo! Let's go time. Let's go.
Time for you to rip some bombs, baby. Yeah. Okay, we are getting ready. I'm drawing FDs, disc mania, fairway drivers. They're actually not too fast, but they have a tremendous glide. I try to get them high and sail with the wind. One sixty five, gotcha. No, one more. Who would I like there? One seven four. Ah. Yeah. Check, 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 check. Just so you know, it's forty eight degrees out right now. Forty eight degrees. It's freezing. But uh, I can't throw on these heavy jackets. Boss. We are live. See the wind's pushing, I'm trying to expose the bottom of the disc. Fly it over. Wow, this wind's strong. I need to get those turned over more. That was good. That was a big shot. They're flying well. They're flying real well out here right now. The last one was 180, the boss. Gotcha. I think I can go bigger than that. Here we go. It's, it's freezing out here right now. I think it's on bigger. Last shot, 202. 202, I'm telling you right now. 200 meter right there, baby. Yeah. Break the mark. Good job. Awesome. Blizzard champion boss, 154. 202 meters, Blizzard Champion Boss. Someone very, very lucky is getting this disc. Monster distance and huge drives is what this sport is all about. There's nothing more satisfying than the feeling just after the driver leaves your hand, telling you, I just crushed that one. I know that in the long run, it's just one shot, but man, what a shot. This was the Disc Mania deep in the game. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the DVD.